Hello out there, you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear. Listening again to another Beta Testers Corner, and this time I'm going to be talking about a game called Crisis of the Middle Ages. Now, I actually <clears throat> tested this back in April of this year. Um, and it's an RPG. It's like a retro style RPG, like that's also kind of pretty much heavily comedic in some points. Um, and I like the game. Like, there are some story bits that don't always jive well with me from what I've played of it, because I've been playing the, uh, the Android variant of it. Um, and I'll say this right now, the game is available on Steam for $1.99. It's two bucks if you want to go ahead and try out, like, a, a game that could last you between six and ten hours total runtime. Um, it, it, it would be worth the cost, I believe, to help... An, an indie developer that is uh, working on things and constantly updating the game and making fixes to it and stuff like that. Um, and, I, and I think I've had a decent rapport with the person that is developing this game. So I was I was happy to go ahead and, and promote it and say from what I've played it, like when I played the beta test and all that, like, and, and I'm sorry guys, I tried to get footage of it, but when I was recording it on my phone, it was absolutely too choppy, and that, that's, <laughs> that's the problem, that's why I don't have the actual footage of the game, and you just have the still from the, uh, from the Steam page. Um, I know there are still plenty of updates being made to the game, because I've checked the, uh, the website and I'll put that down in the description below for anybody who's interested for you to go ahead and check it out um, but from what I played it the battle system is very well done uh, I like the characters so far I mean I haven't gotten extremely far into it so like that's that's on me like the game runs well while I play it on my phone but when I was recording it it just it was just choppy um, I mean, the, the st there are some criticisms I would have for it, like the opening bit with the uh, the typical women needing saying basically stop working, you need a man. I mean, I get the I get the purpose of it, but I think it may be a little bit heavy-handed, where it's like everybody is saying, "Oh, you don't need to work; you need to find a, a husband or a man to support you." I don't think that way. Um, but there, I, I, I feel like maybe it's just too heavy handed on that one direction and there's not like another character who's like the voice of reason and say, well, why does she have to do that? I mean, she could have a job and still find somebody she wants to have a relationship with or whatever. If, the, if you're going to make that point, I just think it would be better to do that point from both sides, kind of, and have somebody else who maybe isn't as extravagant as the other characters are. But maybe a little bit more well kept than the main character Echo to say like, hey, it's cool that she wants to work on her own and stuff like that. And she wants to do that and become her own boss or her own person and stuff. Like, and that shouldn't step in the way of her having a relationship. But that's all I say. Like, that's, and that's only at the beginning of the game. I don't think you really run into that too much later on. But then again, I haven't played all the way through it. So that's why that is my only real criticism of it. Otherwise, seeing the different uh, character and mook interactions was actually pretty funny. Um, especially when it comes off like they're working like a 9 to 5. <laughs> and, and, and their 9 to 5 is basically stop, like basically stopping adventurers. But yeah, to me, that, that was kind of... I like that. The, the concept to me, I think, is funny. And, like, and I kind of wish more RPGs would do stuff like that. Just ran it doesn't have to be a constant thing, but just randomly where you happen upon some enemies and they're talking to each other and they're like, oh wait, they're here. Something like that. It, it doesn't have to be, or like not a whole lot of games have done it, but it would be interesting and funny to see it happen more often. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have to necessarily be something that is story interlaced where it's something everyone will see it. It could just be random chance encounters for it to happen. I think it should happen more though. Just personally, and that's why I like that's one of the charms of this game, um, is that they have that in there. Though I don't know if they're random based or not. I didn't, 
think to ask. Um, for the Android version, and I think that this has been updated, I'm not certain, but for the Android version there was just using the touchscreen controls to move your character about and all that. And me personally, I'm like, okay, maybe not the best choice. But, <laughs> but you never know. I mean, there's always, um, like I think I suggested to, to the, to her, to, uh, add in like a, a touch screen thing, like a pad for people to, who are playing. Like, just in case there's somebody playing with the tablet. Like, you don't want to have to reach all the way across your screen to tap on a corner of a room to get to it. Have an option to have a, a, a simulated pad or even allowing uh, controller inputs to be used would benefit this game heavily. Um, and I think there are plenty of examples out there already that look pretty decent. Like, um, one I can think of off the top of my head is Justice Chronicles. It's a pretty decent RPG that has, like, the functionality of touching the screen to move your characters or putting a pad on the screen and you just move the characters with that. Like, you have the option. Like, giving the option to the player is only going to benefit you more in the long run and they're going to be more happy about it. I mean, that that's really it. Like, more options means more ways that other people can play it, and it means more people can play it. Um, and I also, I like the, the way the system is set up for the character Echo, where she can um, learn different magical spells by reverse engineering them. Um, which is pretty cool. I, I like that idea. It's just like she looks at a magic spell and she can reverse engineer it, and then she can perform it. By, by, by like studying the, dif the different monsters. I don't know why I was about to say that so incorrectly. By studying the different monsters and just getting a feel for what they are capable of doing. Like that's a cool concept. I don't know how many RPGs have done it before. I, I, can swear, I swear I can think of one game where that's been done. But this is like uh, to say like the character Echo has a Sharingan in her eyes. And she can just copy any Jutsu she sees. <laughs> and and do it as long as it's not like specifically special to that particular character but um yeah I, I think overall the game is pretty good and if there are people who are interested again you can go ahead and get it on Steam um I'm checking the Google Play Store right now to see if you can find it in there uh let's see let's see let's see let's see Okay, it's searching. Oh yeah, yeah. It's available on the Play Store and on iOS for uh, $1.99 as well as on Steam. So you guys can go out and get it now if you really want it. Um, the game has a rating of 3.6 on the Play Store. And uh, I don't remember what it was on Steam. Let me check real quick. On Steam, all so far, all of the reviews recommend the game. And it's and it's got positive feedback. So, again, if you're up for just like a, a quick RPG experience and something that you feel like could be interesting, could be fun, I'd say go for it. Because the, the developer here, Org Action, knows exactly what she's doing. She knows what she's doing and I hope to see her successful further down the line with more games, whether they're RPGs or not. Um, and... Be sure you can hit me up. I will test your games. I will promote them for you. So it doesn't make a difference to me. But again, I enjoy it so far. And I think it's, to be honest, it's just a really fun game. Like whether, if, if you, especially if you enjoy traditional RPG controls, this is a good game for you. Um, that's why I would say go ahead and pick it up on any of the platforms that's available. Uh... But that's really it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.